Okay. Uh, we was discussing something regarding the 55 point of service. Today again we are going to discuss the same. As we mentioned uh, at the first video, if you need to know about that repeating, you can uh, watch out our first video. I started with uh, when you receive your guest, the first point you need to keep eye contact within five feet with your guest. Make sure you need to keep an eye contact and receive the guest. Give smile to the guest and receive. Take to the table, score them and arrange the chair, let them sit to sit. The second point what I was mentioning, the third from here, you need to ask to the guest, would you like me to remove your jacket or coat? This was one of the very important uh, point. Normally, people are not asking, are not offering to the guest for this point. Which one is very important in the restaurant? One of the typical service sequence it comes. Like you can uh, proceed to the guest and ask request, would you like me to remove your jacket, sir? Remove the jacket and place it on their seat. This is one of the very important point. No one is doing that one. There is some very few restaurant or view server who's following this point. Now come to the menu presentation. After menu presentation, the second point in this, be careful, guests don't have to call you for the order. You have to be proactive to take order from the guest table. Now, what is the proactive? Like guest will give you the sign, you need to proceed to the table. This comes in etiquette, guest etiquettes in the restaurant. It's plus point, if some guests they don't have idea about the guest etiquette, that's different story, they will call you excuse me or whatever, they will raise their hand or different way they will call you to come on the table and take the order. Normally if they know how to do, how to use the restaurants or hotels, they, they normally used to go in their different restaurants and hotels. So these kind of people, they know what are the etiquettes in the restaurants, they have to use it. After that, when you take order, no, be very careful, you need to repeat the order. Ordering, repeating is a art. When you repeat the order, there will be very less chance of the mistake. But when you repeat the order, extra instruction, you need to repeat. What are the guests give you instruction? What are the food menu? According to your restaurant, you are taking order. You need to remember what are the guest instructions, special instructions. For example, if you're working any of the restaurant, they, uh, some of the guests like less spicy food or extra spicy food. This one, you need to mention on your QT book or if you are taking order on tab, you have to mention in the note or if there is column, you need to mention on that as well. After that, you need to repeat the order. So guests will understand that what are their order now need to remember here one very important point again i'm mentioning these are the point are very uh, very uh, different which one i'm going to mention rather than other videos what we share or other restaurants <coughs> trainings what we give serving of the same order to the same guest when you take the order now you need to remember the guest number from the table so what are the order you take from the guest order should go to the same gas what order you take from the gas there will be no changes you don't have to bring to the food to the table and asking sir who's having this who's having you know that's not professionalism so after that there is some more point in comment videos we will mention that one as well you have to wait for our comment videos thank you very much